everyone, my name is Aaron Fejnvesli. I'm uh, representing Truffle House of Contemporary Arts and Truffle Gallery. And actually I will a little bit try to adapt uh, to this foreword of Esther and uh, mediated by Mel, because actually I, I wasn't really planning to speak about the cultural politic backgrounds because it's a nice contradiction, because actually I couldn't sell myself as an agent of the independent art scene because I'm working for a city-run institution, which is a hardcore institution, maybe uh, maybe the most institutional institution out of the Hungarian selection. And I have to reflect on my own position that, of course, uh, Trafo as a state-run or a city-run institution was also part of these cultural wars, uh, which were going on in the past uh, almost eight years in Hungary. And um, I have to tell that um, we only survived by chance, that uh, we also were under quite heavy attacks. And uh, we also got a new director who was uh, at that time member of this Hungarian Academy of uh, Arts. But um, he decided to quit the Academy and make a deal with the old director of Truffle. So actually, we sort of remain like a small island in the Budapest institutional scene who are still an institution and still financed by city, but we are somehow not obliged to follow the, the, the obligations of, of, the, yeah, of, the, of this terrible institution. Um, yeah, anyway, so as I, I, I wanted to state that um, um, I, I, I'm not uh, really going to tell you a new model or how to survive, but uh, as I said, um, I'm part of a bigger institution and that's why I, I chose this motto for my presentation. Um, it's an unusual motto because um, it belongs to a Croatian conceptual artist, one of the most radical artists I've recently uh, known. And this is a nice exhibition of his, it, which only consisted out of this image. I don't want to show anything new and original. Uh, I felt that um, I have to reflect on my own situation that when I'm going to talk about uh, all the informational and uh, institutional background of mine, I will not really tell new things to you. Only boring old ones. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I'm representing here Truffle Gallery, which in fact is legally not existing. So, Truffle Gallery consists of two people. Uh, one of them is my colleague, Boris Salai, who can't be here today. Uh, and the other one is me. Uh, we are both curators of Truffle Gallery, which is not an own legal entity, but it's part of the bigger institution called Truffle House of Contemporary Arts, which was founded in 1998. It has an interesting history on its own. Um, it was founded as a predecessor of a, a young club of Hungarian artists, which was very important in the 1960s and 70s, but later, um, after the political climate change, it lost its uh, uh, importance, and after a slow uh, evolution period, it became a truffle house of contemporary arts. Uh, somehow to reflect also on, on this uh, position of, of uh, contemporary arts within this institution, as I said, it's a multi profiled uh, uh, institution and somehow the main profile and legally it's a theater so the most important feature of the house is the 300 CP theater which is uh, a host uh, to alternative or rather independent and alternative uh, theater contemporary dance and uh, uh, music scene in Budapest and we also um, have a 1920 square meter gallery in the basement of, of the theater um, actually, how we are funded, um, uh, as I said, legally we are a theatre, so we get a, a yearly subsidy uh, from the City Council of Budapest after the paying attendance, so after every uh, paying attender of uh, theatre play. So we have a small um, <coughs> uh, independence on our own, that we are part of a bigger institution, we are not always in the front uh, line of the attention of the institution, but on the other hand, uh, the gallery also uh, has a quite interesting history and has a quite interesting uh, 
um, history of how it became an important platform. Because also, if I'm speaking about Budapest uh, institutional scene, um, I also have to mention that uh, uh, Trafo Gallery is not a huge exhibition space. I, I think the, the importance of Trafo is, um, is more, more into the programming and more into the, to the production possibilities of the space. So the Budapest art scene has a lot of input, a lot of creative input from the uh, small alternative NGO scene which, which are run by artists from spaces, associations, so it's a, a very creative vibe. Uh, but on the other hand, only has big representational institutions and not many things in between. So I think uh, when I, I came to work in Truffle in 2011, I tried to focus on, on this kind of activities with the gallery that uh, I tried to establish um, a really, in many sense, a, a conservative white cube exhibition place which tried to fill in a gap uh, strictly in the institutional system that it's becoming a, a mediator, some sort of a medium sized uh, medium sized exhibition space who is trying to I don't know bridge the gap between of uh, big institutions and small ones. <clears throat> I can uh, yeah I brought also some images of our past exhibitions. I'm, I'm not going to go deep into this but uh, I'm rather using them as a sort of illustration of, uh, of our programming activities or how we deal with our exhibition program, which is, uh, which is based on producing six exhibitions and also uh, and not only exhibitions, but external uh, non-gallery activities. So last year we had a performance lecture festival as well, which we try to follow up uh, this year to, uh, also with another uh, edition of this and we also try to publish books, as many as possible. Uh, so we are <coughs> also working in other fields. We also have a museum pedagogy problem, program, but I thought maybe the most important would be to show a few uh, slides of what kind of exhibitions we are doing. Of course, um, I could go on and tell also about the thematic uh, focus of the program which is running in Truffle, but I rather um, just tell about the basics because I know everyone is overloaded with information and uh, new names and uh, everything. So um, I think in the past years the most important feature of the of the Truffle Gallery was to 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 produce exhibitions for the local uh, middle generation because there is a uh, a lot of artists who are not young anymore but still not present in the in the big institutions and they, they found themselves in a sort of vacuum where they would need production possibilities for a bigger project but uh, there was no <coughs> any other institution in Budapest who was able to provide this opportunity. So for instance we did a really incredible exhibition with the mythical uh, or rather mystical uh, Hungarian artist do a little Warsaw and we managed to uh, so this project up there was called the Battle of Inner Truth and we managed to borrow 100 uh, statues from different uh, state institutions and the guys um, just set up a sort of battleground out of these statues which had a different uh, meaning on their own. Some of them were small scales of uh, historical monuments in Hungary, some of the others were just simply uh, yeah, soldiers depicted. So it's also somehow part of our program which is reflecting on local history and uh, uh, part of our program which is, is focusing on the local cultural wars which are going on uh, combined to, to um, contemporary art in Hungary. We also did a really nice project with Andreas Fogarashi who was um, 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 investigating a special event which occurred in, a, in the local art scene in the 60s and 70s. But I, I won't tell you details, I just uh, um, highlight these projects that, uh, that with the first slide I show, um, maybe you can understand that there was some uh, point in our exhibitions when we more often touched the, the, the topics of pro being provincial or, or being on a periphery which everyone is um, 
talking about, I think, in, in these Visegrad countries which we represent now. But uh, my goal with, uh, with, um, with focusing more on this in the exhibition program was that to state that uh, uh, being provincial only means that uh, you don't consider history and you don't consider... Uh, so, for provincial people, history doesn't exist. Uh, future doesn't exist. Only now and that special place exists. And if we start thinking about our local history and if we start thinking about future and some possible collaborations and if we start thinking about mobility, we suddenly find out that we are not a province anymore. So basically, I think this was the, my really pure goal with, with touching all these kind of topics. Yeah, and to be a little bit more funny, uh, sometimes we do Freemason stuff also <laughs> as well. So uh, yeah, at least I have to admit in networking conferences like this, that uh, we have some Freemason activity going on in our gallery. Um, this was, by the way, an exhibition of uh, Gábor Gerges entitled Neue Ordnung. Yeah, and then we have another line of uh, exhibition programs which can be highlighted maybe by the topic of abstraction or new abstraction. So I'm also very keen on showing international, regional and local positions which are trying to somehow revitalize the, the notion of abstraction and to show how current uh, this, uh, this topic can be and how universal uh, uh, this topic is and how easy it is to communicate uh, with the outside world with the visual language of, of abstraction. Uh, within this frame of programming we had an incredible solo exhibition with Dutch artist Navid Nur. Uh, who is an incredible guy. He, he uh, uh, based his uh, monochrome red-blue uh, painting program on his uh, uh, experience that uh, he liked skateboarding but he was really bad in it. And he always had uh, scars on his legs. So actually his uh, painting program is, is motivated by the color of the scars which he got while he was skateboarding. Um, we also do other type of exhibitions. We also do small group shows where we try to, to somehow put together to a common uh, context our uh, local emerging and middle generation art scene together with uh, at least a regional context. Uh, within this frame I would highlight this exhibition which was entitled Boogie Boogie. It was more about uh, this abstract line of programming I mentioned before. We didn't, I won't do this name dropping thing, but as some of you already know, the artist like Jerzy Tin, I just show that how uh, incredible installations also Czech artists and Slovak artists did in our gallery. Yeah, and just to finish up, that uh, uh, what type of activities do we still have uh, in the gallery? We're also collaborating internationally. So recently, in the past uh, two, three years, uh, we managed to make group exhibitions also not only in our Truffle Gallery, but also abroad. For instance, this was a really successful exhibition uh, which was presented in Galleria Plan Bay in Berlin. It was entitled Haunting Monumentality. It also uh, evolved into two other editions. One of them uh, was uh, being done in, in the incredible city of Krajowa, which Svatopluk also visited. And uh, our most recent collaboration was with the uh, Zagreb, uh, the MSU, how is it called? The Museum of Contemporary Art in Zagreb. Uh, okay, I think I, I more or less maxed my time, so maybe we follow up with other topics later. Thanks for your attention.